Hello guys and welcome back to my channel for another episode of this Pentagon Challenge. We are about to take on Sao Paulo in the Sao Paulo State Championship Final. We are in the second leg, we've already played them once and obviously we are coming up against a much, much better side. But we've beaten two very good sides in the knockout stages of this competition already. So let's get into this second leg and see how we get on. So guys, as you can see, we are ready for the second leg of this state championship final, the Sao Paulo state championship final. And who else would we play in that other than Sao Paulo themselves? As you can see on screen from the first game, we lost 3-2. Um, if I go into our schedule, I can also update you on the game that we played in between that as well. We played Panera in the um, second leg of the Brazilian Cup. After uh, Second leg of the third round of the Brazilian Cup. After drawing 0-0 in the first leg, uh, we played them at home and we were wildly disappointing and lost 3-1. Uh, uh, it was a really, really disappointing uh, game there. But then this is the main one. This is what we're all about. I rested some players in that cup game because we'd already achieved what the board expected us to be, to achieve and we're kind of being judged on Serie B. Um, and obviously being in a final, be nice to win some silverware, be nice to put a trophy to our name. So first game against Sao Paulo, absolutely nuts, as all of these knockout games are, to be perfectly honest. Um, as you can see here, we had a goal ruled out uh, early doors, um, which was disappointing. They took a 2-0 lead inside two minutes. Um, again, relatively disappointing. We then were forced into making some changes. Carlinos come on. He's not really played a great deal for us. Managed to pull a goal back to make it 2-1. And just before the end of the game, we exchanged goals again. And the game finished 3-2 to Sao Paulo. But as you can see, according to the XG and stuff, shots, shots on target. I think we had a pretty good game. Um, Higo Oliete, since I, since I said a couple of episodes ago how well he's been playing, he's been garbage and uh juan on loan from sao paulo again um playing against his parent club probably not um probably not the one i might have to rotate uh probably not the one uh playing against his parent club there of course so we have the final the second leg before we get into serie b um where there's there's a lot of fixtures in Serie B running all the way through to December from May. So there's a lot of football still to be played. Obviously, I've shown you a lot of this Sao Paulo State Championship. It's a new competition, new team. I just wanted to show you guys, you know, who we are, what we're trying to do, how we're trying to get there. And obviously, what better way to do that than in this state final? I'm going to make those two chair, three changes that were suggested there. This expected tactic, our analyst, analyst data is rubbish. This is the expected tactic, right? Then we'll go into the team selection. Obviously, this is the team and the formation that we're playing. The new gen's back in. Uh, Piri, Ran, uh, Xiao, and uh, Gomez make up the back three alongside Temperini. Campo is in at right midfield. Uh, Neris alongside Filipino in the centre midfield. The new gen is back at left midfield. Juan is alongside Gabriel up top, which does leave us the option of Todino to come on as well. And then obviously Liete in that hole. Um, then we go into the opposition instructions. 4-2-3-1. Shambles. But we do what we always do. We will put the instructions to pop everybody onto their weaker foot. Um, and then I'm probably just going to type mark the striker. That is probably all I'm going to do, guys. Because other than that, um, I've noticed that the players start to get sucked in. Um, and then the ball over the top is definitely on. Whereas I'm hoping in this instance, the no-nonsense centre-back that we've got can, uh, can really cause some damage on... Um, and really cause some damage on this striker, especially as they're playing a solo striker and basically mark him out of the game. That is my hope. Um, again, I've already run through the team with you. So this is the moment, guys. We've been playing pretty well. As you saw, the XG from us last game. Brian Acampo's upset that he's being played out of position. Bro, literally, it's like 10 yards further back. We've got players all over the shop 20 players are a little bit concerned that this formation can expose us at the back we've not fully trained it and obviously we are coming up against one of the big dogs in the country of brazil i'm just hoping temperini has a good game this time he's been our penalty hero and i'm hoping that he could potentially be our penalty hero again but we are away 
at Sao Paulo. That's a good team from our scouting and all the scouting that we've done. Obviously, that is our team as you've already seen it. We've had two penalty shootouts and two 3-3 draws on the route to the final, beating uh, Santos and Corinthians. If this game is level after 90 minutes over aggregate, then we go to penalties yet again. Um, I'd actually kind of fancy our chances on penalties, but obviously we need to win this game to get it to penalties. So 15 minutes gone in this final Nothing to report. Nothing has happened. 20 minutes in. Filipino with the corner. And it is initially cleared. Chow will pick this up. Into the new gen. Who goes all the way back to the goalkeeper from our corner. Temperini into the new gen again. Brought up into the middle. Filipino into Jean. We've got players here. Liete gets tackled. That is an unbelievable challenge. That he's just dove in from behind. Gomez picks up this ball then off the clearance. Good ball over the top. Gabriel's in here. That is a very good save from their goalkeeper. Very, very good save. Gabriel looking sharp, though. Looking sharp in the early going. You love to see it. We'd be far better off playing Brian Acampo in a bit. Grow up, Brian. Just, just track back a little bit further, eh? Acampo with the ball. Highlights over from that corner. Promising signs early doors. Um, we do need this breakthrough. And hopefully we can get it. As a rule, touch wood. It doesn't seem like our issue is scoring goals. At the moment, our issue is keeping the ball out of our own net. So let's 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 deal with the scoring issue first. Yeah, take into Gabriel. Oh man, he's absolutely nailed it against the post. Gabriel. Oh, that's a real good chance. And then obviously Sao Paulo go down the other end, and I'm sure this has got goal written all over it, hasn't it? Just after we've made a mistake and not capitalised at our end. Put the pressure on. Oh, it's not quite there. We're just like a couple of yards short of these interceptions. Ball over the top. Bernard's going to get there first, isn't he? No. Why have you done that, centre-back? He's just stepped across him. I mean, it is a penalty, isn't it? We don't need to check VAR. Penalty awarded. Temporini. Can you do it, my son? You've saved a couple of penalties on the run. And you go the wrong way this time. Unlucky. Gabriel Sara with the goal. Putting Sao Paulo to ahead in this two-legged final. Um, that prompts me to... I'm just going to go ball to the wall. Very attacking. Why not? What have we got to lose? We're two goals down. Let's go very attacking and see if we can get anything out of this. Sara out to Bernard on this left-hand side. He's pace eased into our penalty area. Hits it straight at Temporini. Let off there. We go into halftime. I don't think we've been disappointing, but we've definitely not made the most of our chances. Um, I don't think any of you are as capable. Nobody batted an eyelid. Loads of players are nervous. People have fallen apart. Brian Acampo's at a 6.3. Filipinos at a 6.3. Whole midfield not playing well at all. Filipino to Chow. Out to Ocampo. Do we have runners? No. Ocampo gets tackled. Here comes Bernardo. Ocampo wins the ball back though. Piri with the ball over the top. Into Juan. The man on loan from Sao Paulo gets tackled at the last. They're chucking in these last ditch challenges. New gen. Delivery. Can we get up and get it? No. Higoliete out to pick the ball up. Still with the ball is Liete. Out to the new gen. Piri. Up the line to Gabriel. Can he? Another good save from the goalkeeper. We are having chances, guys, but we are not slotting them. Um, I'm actually going to take Zhao off, uh, Juan off for Junior Todino to start with. Um, I think he's, he's really not playing well against his uh, parent club here. Maybe because he doesn't want to upset them. Neris gets fouled there. We're going to have a free kick in a relatively decent area. 60 minutes on the clock. The substitute has happened. We don't get to see what's happened in the free kick. Brian Acampo also playing abysmally. Um, so we're going to have to make a change here. Pablo is going to come on for Acampo. Um, we'll make that change as well. 65 minutes on. If we lose three games in a row, the pressure is going to be on me, isn't it? Which is going to be very difficult because the, the boys at the club are already a little bit disappointed that I'm in charge because my reputation is a lot lower than the, than the club. Um, all across the right, it's intercepted, it's lazy, it's sloppy. 
And here comes Sao Paulo. We've only got three players back. It's like three versus five. They go out to the right-hand side. Biro, Biro with the cross. Over it comes. We get the header clear. Liete with the ball. He's going to have players ahead of him here. 3v3. What does he do? Wow. <laughs> what? Excuse me. What a strike by Igor Liete. One of the goals of the season. I did not know that the man had this in his locker. Picks it up on the edge of his own third. Just runs and runs and runs and runs. And just thinks I'm done with running. And unleashes an absolute thunderbolt. I mean, there's still time here. If we score one more, we go to penalties for what would be the third time in a row in this competition. And, you, you know, guys, these penalty shootouts are getting more and more crazy as we go on. Bernard with the ball on the left. Piri gets... Oh, Piri tackles in. That means we're going down to 10, doesn't it? Piri tackles in. We go down to 10. I've got one sub left. And it's going to be that, I think. Let's switch those two around. Filipino can just go in the middle on his own and fingers crossed he can hold up. Free kick comes in. 12 minutes to go. They scored from a free kick in the first leg. And they've scored from a free kick in the second leg. That is us cooked, boys. That is us done and dusted. That's a very good free kick. Goalkeeper gets a hand on it, but it still goes in. That is going to be us losing this Sao Paulo uh, State Championship final. They've scored another one. Toro putting the ball in there, adding salt to the wound. Two goals in two minutes. I know we're on very attacking. I know we've got 10 men, but... Mm, some very disappointing play here. To pull a goal back was was good. And I think to lose this 6-3 on aggregate is, is slightly unfair. Biro, Biro. Oh, feels like everything they hit at the moment is going to go in. Five minutes of the game to go. Another highlight for Sao Paulo. Biro, Biro into the penalty area. Gabriel smashes him over. Oh, boys, we have just capitulated now. Second goal of the season for this guy. Losing 4-1 on the day. 7-3 on aggregate is just not good, is it? Loads of the boys just haven't turned up on the big occasion. Not another one. Oh, Temperini, you're lucky that's been disallowed for offside. Hasn't it? Has it? I think it has. We'll go into VAR to see if that one's been disallowed for offside. He looked pretty offside to me. Goal disallowed. 6.1s from some of our midfielders. It's just, it's just not it, is it? Biro, Biro. Guys, just put us out of misery. Just let, let, let us see Sao Paulo just lift the state championship. It is their state after all. We'll move forward and, you know, we'll go again and begin our Serie B campaign. And Junior Todino's just missed an absolute sitter. 4 2 would have been slightly respectable. But either way, we still we still lost this game very disappointingly. The red card doesn't help. Um missing a few good, good chances in the first half really doesn't help either. Um Bernard. Don't score another. Don't score another. Score another one. I'm really under the cosh here. The new gen gets the ball clear. He's going to keep this in, is he? Oh, just about. Keeps it in on the touchline. Guys, this is this is a tough, tough way to go out. I mean, it kind of was expected. But he knows fouled him there. There's just no need. There's just no need to foul him there. I've tried something different. I may have to change the formation back to the 4-2-3-1. For the start of Serie B, I don't know if this is really really worked out as you can see here sao paulo win the sao paulo state championship they've done it comfortably on the night and uh pretty well on aggregate i don't want to see them lift the trophy we'll go to the dressing room 
I'm just going to say unlucky. We gave our best over two legs and there was nothing that we could do. There go the fireworks. It's disappointing. We received 228k. We, we, are, we do suffer the defeat. Piri banned for one match. Uh, I'm going to issue him a warning for that. Our new gen's going to get a pay rise. I need to figure out if I'm going to play this guy a little bit more. I think I will. I think I will start playing him as the left-sided centre-back, potentially. What is going on here? Having soldier... Generally positive reaction to the Tiki Taka style play used by Hood of late, and there is plenty of optimism for the future. Okay, so if we go into the club vision, we're at a C so far. It's not the end of the world. Um, Copa, Copa Brazil, Copa de Brazil, reached the third round. We've done that. We're out of that now. Sao Paulo State Championship, we reached the quarterfinal. We got to the final. Uh, they're delighted that they reached the final. So that is good. That's kind of helped me a lot. Um, now, Serie B. This is the one, boys. Serie B starts now. They want us to finish mid-table. We've got a lot of games in the schedule. There's a lot of games in Brazil. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to get my head down. I'm going to play all of these games in May. Um, and then we're going to come back for the Fluminense game. Um, obviously, it's a club that we applied for the job. Uh, we applied for the Fluminense job. And uh, yeah, we applied for the job there and they turned us down. So it's going to be an interesting one for us to come back for that game. I hope you have enjoyed it, guys. If you have enjoyed it, despite us getting absolutely pumped in this second leg, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager content. I'll be back at the same time tomorrow with another video. Hope to see you guys there.